In this video, we will look at the animation function of Grease Pencil, which is a unique feature of Blender. In fact, the topic of Grease Pencil animation is much broader than you might think. First, let's take a look at the types of animations that can be implemented with Grease Pencil in Blender. I divided it into five main ways. 1. Traditional frame-by-frame -frame animation, in which animation is created by directly drawing images one by one, is possible. 2. Animation of computer doing in-between. After recognizing the image as a single object and designating two keyframes, it is possible to perform tweening-type animation by having the computer calculate the interpolation of the intermediate values. In this case, you cannot transform the shape of the drawn picture itself, but you can control the properties of the picture object, such as position value, size value, and transparency. 3. Shape tweening animation, which can transform the image itself at each keyframe, is also possible. You can think of it as similar to shape tweening in Adobe Animate or transforming the shape of a mask path in After Effects. 4. An animation is possible by mixing with the traditional 3D animation method. In this case, it would be a way to link with the bone system, apply modifiers, or utilize constraints. The most powerful thing is that you can freely mix and match the four methods above and implement animations. In this series of videos, we'll cover the basics of animation production in the first, second, and third styles. And in this first video in the series, we'll cover frame-by-frame -frame animation. The above three methods will be familiar to those who have already used Adobe Animate or After Effects. Personally, the Blender's Grease Pencil has the advantage of providing more possibilities, but at the same time, it also has the disadvantage of being a little difficult for first-time users to approach. So let's take a look at each one. 1. Frame-by-frame -frame animation. Everyone must have experienced an animation in which each corner of a book is drawn one by one and then flipped over. In fact, that's what animation principles are all about. You can think of computer graphic animation as concentrating on designing important scenes and animations instead of drawing them one by one and leaving the rest to the computer to handle. Now, let's take a look at how the animation produced by this simple principle can be easily implemented in Grease Pencil. I will be using Blender version 3.3. In Blender version 3.3 or later, the UI is relatively stable, so you can easily implement frame-by-frame -frame animation. In the early days of Grease Pencil, there were a lot of troublesome parts, but at this stage, I think it is stabilized to some extent. We will work in a 2D environment to focus on the principles of frame-by-frame -frame animation. Press the shortcut key 1 to change to the front view. Blender basically creates a new object with the position of the 3D cursor as the center point. Place the mouse where you want a new object to be created and press shift plus right click. The 3D cursor is positioned where the current cursor is. Press shift plus A to add one grease pencil object. A center point of a new grease pencil object was created in the center of the 3D cursor. In draw mode, draw a circle keeping in mind the center point of the object. Let's animate this circle on the x-axis to where the default cube is. In order to animate frame by frame, a new keyframe must be created each time a frame passes. In Grease Pencil mode, if you enable the auto keying option, the frame changes and a new keyframe is created each time you draw a new picture. Turn on the auto keying option, press the right arrow key on the keyboard to move one frame and draw a new circle. When a new circle is drawn, the old circle automatically disappears. Only if you have the auto keying option turned on. If you turn off the auto keying option and draw a new picture on a new frame, a new keyframe will not be added automatically. It just adds a new picture to the existing keyframes. When working with the auto keying option off, you need to press the I button on the newly moved frame and select Insert Blank Keyframe. I'll work with the auto keying option on. So, what do you think of when you're working like this? It's frustrating because you can't see the picture in the previous frame. When creating frame-by-frame -frame animation, the most essential function to support is the onion skin function that allows you to see pictures in front and back frames in a blurry state. The onion skin feature in Grease Pencil can be activated by checking the onion skin option in the overlay tab. The green color is the previous frame you are currently working on. Working while looking at the previous frame like this makes animation much more convenient and allows you to express yourself freely. However, seeing only the frame right in front of you is not a bit satisfying. Seeing every frame drawn so far is much more efficient in designing and working with the overall animation. To increase the number of onion skins shown, increase the number of keyframes before in the onion skinning tab of the object data properties tab of Grease Pencil. If you increase the number of keyframes after, you can check the state of the picture in the back frames. 
I'll enter 100 for the keyframes before and after numbers to work while seeing both the front and back frames. The will to work while looking at all the frames. That's all you need to know for frame by frame animation. Now all that's left is to have fun drawing one by one and draw all the necessary pictures. Existing 2D animators can create amazing animations with Blender for free for the rest of their lives just by learning this method. Really envious. That's it for this video.